Charles Robinson's article comes out, your first reaction is what? Yawn. My second reaction, double yawn. Looking at those uh, photographs, uh, I got the sense that there was a, uh, an 11-month extensive uh, investigation into the Facebook pictures of University of Miami students. I mean, uh, you've got college guys in a strip club. You've got uh, college guys at a restaurant. You've got college guys on a boat from the University of Miami. I mean, like, how, how many friends do you have whose Facebook pictures are them on a boat? I mean, like, seriously, I would say for me, it's probably a good 48% or more. So there was really nothing, I didn't see anything in the pictures that was illegal. I didn't see anything in the pictures that was immoral. Uh, some of the additional allegations that there, there aren't, photo, there isn't photographic evidence of, I think you can pretty well discount. Uh, you can't take the good word of a man who doesn't have a good word. Well, on Monday and Tuesday, I mean, uh, I, uh, I was saying the same thing everybody else was. Where there's smoke, there's fire. It turns out where there's smoke, there's smoke. I mean, as you get closer, the smoke might get denser or thicker, but it's still just smoke. Uh, I, I don't really believe, uh, from what we've seen so far, that the students, any of the student athletes, did anything wrong, particularly the, the current student athletes, as opposed to, I mean, you want to make a case for somebody in 2003? Good luck. I mean, how, how, can, you, how can you punish somebody now? students now, student athletes now, and potential future student athletes by taking away scholarships if there's going to be sanctions at the end of this thing, which I don't think there should be, by the way. How can you take away, how can you deprive students uh, 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 present and future of an opportunity? Doesn't make any sense. The team now is not uh, the team of, you know, the 1980s and, and early 90s. They, they, they really haven't, uh, as they would say, I, or Coach Golden, to paraphrase him, they haven't really earned that swagger. Uh, I don't think that's a direct quote. That's definitely paraphrasing uh, Coach Golden. But that's the idea. I think everybody understands that. Um, so I don't know uh, what outlaw culture or outlaw reputation they'd really be talking about now. It's a completely different team uh, than, it, than it was uh, back in, in those days. Uh, at that time, the, the team adopted really the, the attitude and, and the makeup of the community, of Miami. I mean, that's what the documentary was about, the U for ESPN 30 for 30. We did uh, a story of a team that wasn't just from Miami, but it was Miami. It reflected Miami in so many ways. And when you look at the era of the 1980s uh, and, and how you would define the, the city of Miami, the community of Miami-Dade County, or as it was called, Metro-Dade at that time, uh, it was cocaine cowboys. It was uh, devastating race riots over the course of the decade. It was the rise of hip-hop and Luther Campbell and Two Live Crew. And that's what the, the uh, team was, what, that's what the team was, uh, that's what the team was reflective of in those days. Now it's a very, a very different time in Miami, and it's a very different time at the University of Miami Hurricanes football program.